What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be checking out the HyperX Alloy Origins Core TKL keyboard with their brand new Aqua switches. This came out a few weeks ago, I've been using it pretty frequently, and honestly for what it is as a gaming keyboard, this is going to catch a lot of people's attention. We'll go over it all, what I love about it, what I don't love about it, in this review, in case you're thinking of picking it up. So the Alloy Origins Core comes in at $89.99, which is $40 cheaper than the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition keyboard, and I think this is a killer price point for many. Here we have the 10 keyless layout for a smaller footprint on your desktop, and I've said it before, but this is my favorite layout of the bunch. Checking out the construction, we have this all gunmetal aluminum body that has this sort of powder coating. It looks pretty minimal with just their branding above the arrow keys. But the metal frame here is nice, not only for looks, but the rigidity, it's a solid board. Mounted onto the frame here, we have these switches. So as you can see, they are exposed underneath. So you'll get a glimpse at those aqua colored housings on the bottom. These are those new tactile aqua switches they rolled out for new keyboards. We'll talk about these more in a minute, but with these switches being frame mounted, they do get a bit of a nicer blend when it comes to the RGB lighting. It'll bounce off the inside of the keycaps and reflect nicely onto that frame. We don't have any physical multimedia keys, but function F6 through F11 will let you do things like change up songs and the volume and stuff. And you also have F1 through F3 for changing up the three profiles on the board. Keycaps used here are an ABS plastic, as you can see, shine through as well. The color comes through nice and bright, but they're okay. I'd say the font is decent used here. I've definitely seen worse. And they have this slight, not gloss, but a little shine to the keycaps. So keep that in mind with fingerprints, but as you can do with any standard layout like we have here, I threw on a set of colored keycaps from Tai Hao. This is their forest green, I believe. And I got them on here to get a nice theme going on. For some other physical features, flipping it over on the backside, we do have two flip out feet with two different levels of elevation for elevating the backside. And as you can see right here, a removable USB-C port. And this is definitely great to see. That way you can get custom USB-C cables like I have. Uh, they include one inside the box as a braided cable, but it's oddly on the right side. I've, I've never seen a cable on the right side of the keyboard before like this. Usually you'll have the cable on the left side or in the middle of the keyboard. It's obviously not a huge deal, just an awkward choice from HyperX. I don't understand why it's on the right side. So let's get back and talk about one of the main selling points of the new Alloy Origins Core, those Aqua switches. These will be similar to those who are fans of brown switches, but honestly, if you're being tactile, they are very smooth. Much smoother than I was expecting, I'll say. They travel 3.8 millimeters total and actuate at 1.8 millimeters with 45 grams of force. They're also rated for 80 million keystrokes. So like I said, smoother than most tactile switches. You still get that light bump of feedback when the switch actuates, but overall, not as physically tactile as a brown switch. So who is this for then? Well, if you like that smooth linear feel like reds, but you still want that tactile response you get in browns, this is really the best of both worlds here. And now we'll do a sound test. You could hear how these aqua switches sound, but I'm gonna throw on the stock keycap set so you can hear how this sounds stock out of the box. So as you heard, they sound pretty similar to reds like I've been alluding to. Very, very smooth. And honestly, if you could buy these key switches separately to like put in your own custom keyboard, I think they would be a huge hit on the market. So big thumbs up to HyperX for these new Aqua switches. Now, as I kind of, you know, referred to in the beginning with the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition with this gaming keyboard, TKL size, uh, very similar keyboards overall, I will say they have the advantage in terms of their red optomechanical switches. Uh, because technically, you know, they're faster and more reliable. However, when it comes to sound quality, those have that nasty resonance from that metal support bar inside, and it's definitely annoying. So I prefer the sound of these much more than that. And then as for those stabilizers, you kind of heard they're still going to be rattly, not the best, 
Same with the spacebar, but unfortunately that's pretty common with these mass produced keyboards. So how was gaming on this? And I mean, honestly, it was fine. With the 1.8 travel distance to actuate, you're not gonna really notice a big difference from regular key switches that are usually around two. So you're not gonna no notice that 0.2 millimeter distance. But with the 45 grams, they're nice and light. And like I said, you still get that slight bit of tactile feedback so you know when you're actuating. I've had no issues whatsoever using this. One of the last things we'll talk about before we wrap this up is gonna be the RGB lighting. And as you've seen, it's bright, it's nice and saturated. The effects are smooth, it all looks good, but there is one major thing that I have to bring up right now, and that is their HyperX Ingenuity software. I need to know what they were thinking because this is a Microsoft Store download, okay? Yes, when you go to their website, you pick your product, it brings you to download this to the Microsoft Store, which is kind of odd because in the past, you could just download their software and then you'd be good to go. So I don't know why this is on the Microsoft Store. Once you get it downloaded, it's gonna be pretty similar to other you know, software when it comes to changing up the effects. They have three preset ones on the keyboard itself. Like I said, with the F1 through three, you can assign different profiles to those three. And the effect selection, as you can see, is kind of limited. Although it says it's in beta, so they'll probably add more maybe. But you can do things like stack different effects on top of each other to create you know, certain layers and stuff to have more pizzazz on your keyboard, if you will. And then you can also create macros and stuff like that. But my main concern with this is you need to have this program open and running for your macros, your lighting effects, anything to be saved to the keyboard. So you can't change the lighting effects and then exit out because then it'll just go back to the stock keyboard like you got it out of the box of the rainbow effect. If you have any macros, profiles, anything saved, you need to have that HyperX Ingenuity software going at all times, which is mind-blowingly dumb. HyperX, you gotta just know, gotta change that up. So altogether, for a $90 TKL gaming keyboard like this, I think it is a great option on the market right now. So far, as I've been comparing it to, I would honestly pick this over the Huntsman Tournament Edition. You're saving 40 bucks in the end. So altogether, I love the switches, I love the keyboard overall, it's really great. But you just got that one massive question mark with their Ingenuity software. I don't think it's a deal breaker by any means, but hopefully going forward, since it's in beta, they should be making some improvements and some changes so it's not constantly needing to be open for you to even take advantage of the software. So yeah, for 90 bucks, big thumbs up from HyperX, and then a big kinda eh when it comes to software. That's gonna be up to you to decide. If that's a deal breaker, let me know down below. That'll wrap it up, guys. Hope you enjoyed my review of the HyperX Alloy Core Origins TKL keyboard with the new Aqua switches. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. If you like this review, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.